Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will do an analysis on how to write an essay and I will give one sample essay from A Silent Song and the other stories and the story is Ninema by Vrenika Patha. And the question reads, uh, the question is from Godwin Siundu, Ed edition, A Silent Song and Other Stories. Ninema is a paragon of dignity. With reference to Vrenika Pathas story Ninema, write an essay to support this statement. So, as uh, we are all aware, the first part of your essay should be the introduction. So a probable introduction would be, in Vrenika Pathos story Ninema, the character Ninema successfully comes out as a perfect example of a virtuous woman. The first point, Ninema is stoic and resilient. She reaps the herbs from her garden as she is a market gardener and her fingers are metaphorically referred to as green, a testament of the fact that she is successful at the market gardening. She also earns her living by selling her produce at the Indian market. The narrator mentions that life is tough and so is Ninema. As life toughens up, Ninema also toughens up. And with a sigh of relief, she accepts her lot in life without being resigned to her lot. Everyone knows that Ninema is facing high challenges and winning. So the stoicism and uh, resilience by uh, Ninema brings her out as one who manages to lead a dignified life in an undignified situation. Secondly, Ninema relies on her own hard work for survival. Despite the beauty that she possesses, she does not take advantage of it to earn a living. The narrator mentions the fact that she makes head stun when she walks. Her hips sway from side to side as she moves her body in rhythm to balance the basket on her head. Her thin she forms sari drapes effortlessly around her perfect body as if kept in place by her high firm breasts. Long toned arms and a cinch waist cause men to stop and stare. But Ninema does not allow the attention that both the men and women give her to get into her head. Her focus is always on earning a living. Thirdly, Nenema treats all her customers fairly and equally. No customer is given a preferential treatment. An example is with Chinran, 
who is a very important customer and the narrator mentions that Chinran was one of the first customers to support her stall when she just opened up business. The lady sees her that Chinran is in love with her and though Nenema smiles their silliness away and argues that such a relationship is impossible and uh, quite unthinkable. The, uh, it is inferred by the readers that there seems to be a kind of uh, brewing interest on Ninema in the part of uh, Chinran. And this is evidenced by how she buys too much vegetables from Ninema, as his mother notes. And again, Chinran fears for the time that his mother will arrange a marriage for him and some prying and jealous wife will take from his hands the opportunity to go shopping. It is quite interesting that the mere sight of uh, Ninema is enough to make Chinran's day. It is quite interesting that though Chinran is a lawyer from a prestigious Brahmin caste, Ninema does not lead him on in his infatuation, but she treats him as she does all her loyal customers with respect and appreciation. Again, an illustration on this point would be her dealing with Mrs. Singh, who is known to always haggle over prices when she comes to get vegetables and she tries to begin the prices, Ninema asserts her authority and not even a rich Mrs. Singh who to some extent uses this haggling as an inadequate ploy to prolong her shopping as she is bored at home. Ninema would not budge for Mrs. Singh or anybody. She's principled, she's focused, the prices are the same for each and everybody. And this adds something to Ninema's ability to lead a dignified life without compromising her principles. Fourthly, Ninema is amiable and goes beyond an ordinary customer-client engagement to develop interest in her customers. It is quite incredible that during lunchtime, when Ninema has the busiest part of the day with her loyal customers streaming in and how important customers there is a steady flow of customers at that time her hubs at this point are diminishing fast and the business is flourishing although the stall is busy at this point Nenema is seen to show interest in his customer. She knows the customer who moved into their new home and where they bought it. She knows whose son is studying to be a doctor far away in India and whose daughter just got married. Another point 
is uh, when Ninema stops whatever she's doing and comes out as conscious of her health as well as her mother. When Dr. Sidat comes to get some herbs, she stops what she's doing and her, all her dealings with the various customers and talks to Dr. Sidat about her health this, uh, at the same time her mother's. And she would not put any allure, any desire for the money from her customers in front of her health as well as her mother's. And she will only resume uh, the selling after she has talked to her doctor, that is Dr. Sidat. Again, what also brings to the fore Ninema's dignity is when she departs for home and uh, a man attempts to accost her on the way. The man pinches her erect nipple and tells her that if she likes what has just happened, she can follow him. When Enema sees this dehumanizing act and a sort of relegation to a second class citizen, a second class human being status, Nenema slowly puts her basket on the ground and takes her shumpal, which she uses to hit the man severely. And in doing this, she is trying to regain her dignity and to show to all and sundry that though she is a woman, she still has her dignity and her humanness. Her bravery and her courage is quite incredible. And this she does to the joy and excitement of women who jeer at the men and cheer at the heroic act by Nenema. So those are around six points for you at the body. Then at the end of your essay, you do an, uh, a conclusion and a probable conclusion would be Nenema's stoicism, resilience, being principled and amiable, bravery and courage places her as an embodiment of a woman leading a dignified life in a dehumanizing surrounding. That is the essay, uh, sample essay for Rene Kapathos Ninema. If you like the content here, allow me to ask you to subscribe to the channel, hit onto that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Again, allow me to continue thanking all our supporters for the continued support. Without your support, this channel would not be where it is.